Our insider JP Morosi joining us now. JP, what kind of player are the Cubs getting? Five tools in so many ways, Robert. He is an exciting player. I had a chance to watch him play during the Premier 12 tournament, actually in person at the Tokyo Dome back in the fall of 2019. Dynamic. He was the best player in that tournament, period. Best player on the field. And, and to me, I really have enjoyed the way he plays the game with a lot of fundamental soundness, runs the bases very well, also electrifying. You see his power show up in big ways, really good run producer. When you look at his profile, that, that power speed combo, great base runner, he'll probably play right field at Wrigley. His overall fit is, is unique. When you look at players who have come over from Japan in recent years, we've seen a lot of pitching talent come over. You see it there, largest contracts, a lot of arms there. It's certainly, you see Fukudome's deal with the Cubs years ago. He is in that elite group of position players that we've ever seen come over. Of course, Otani does both. But in terms of pure outfielder with power and speed, it's almost a, a Matt Sui like package, which is a, a, certainly a very exciting development for the Cubs. You think about how he fits this team as well. They're building, obviously, for the future. They've, they've had some of their more iconic players in recent years. Rizzo and Schwarber and Brian and Baez, they're all gone. There, there was a spot in this club, Robert, for a multi-inning, multi-year deal for, for a major position player to fill that gap of what they thought was going to be money going to the likes of, of Rizzo or Brian. Of course, they all went away. You have this spot now five times 85, a really, really good fit, I think, for, for Suzuki going forward. Someone who's certainly going to be a key building block for this club now going forward. That's our insider, J.P. Barossi. J.P., we appreciate the time. Thanks.